What's good, fam? Teacher Eddie back with another ERB scorecard reaction. So I already broke this video down a few months ago. If you haven't seen the full breakdown, check out the link up there. I'll include that in the video. But this time I am just scoring the battle. This was one of my favorite battles because I'm a huge movie buff. Love movies, love cinema, everything going back to the silent era the golden age of Hollywood, uh, the Warner Brothers gangster movies, uh, the amazing movies of the 70s, the 60s, 80s were kind of weird, a lot of coke, uh, but this one had uh, four amazing directors and Michael Bay. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm going to listen straight through it, and then we're going to do the scorecard at the end. Uppercrap bottles of Steven Steven Spielberg versus... Alfred Hitchcock! Yes. Picture a child sitting next to a projector, learning from your films to become a much better director. Now picture a three billion dollar dream machine who can block us all over your crop just to see. Try to do it with me, Alfred, you must be psycho. I'll bring back Jaws and take a bite of your life, oh. I'm always so on top of my game, I get the vertigo. My jet's in the terminal, waiting for me to murder you. I rock the Academy and the DGA. You rock as many Oscars as that slap Michael Bay. Time you're filling up those jowls with... Not fair. Not fair. Uh, Hitchcock never won a directing Oscar, but he did get a Lifetime Achievement Award, the Irving Thalberg uh, Oscar. So he does have an Oscar. He just doesn't have an Oscar for directing. Three stakes and souffle, check the trade, see me amble to my next big play. I produce cartoons and make games for all ages. You produce Jimmy Stewart, make it one of two faces. Maybe next time I visit, you'll be a bit more gracious. I'll kiss my full moon and just bask in my greatness. Yeah, I missed that line uh, the first time around uh, about uh, next time I visit, maybe you'll be more gracious. Uh, so when Alfred Hitchcock was filming one of his last movies, I think it was Family Plot, uh, Spielberg did come to visit him on the set and Hitchcock uh, refused to see him. And uh, Spielberg was, was kind of miffed about that. Was a close encounter of the third kind. But there won't be a pretty ending this time. Half your billion should go to John Williams. Now brace yourself as I reveal my brilliance. I'm the master of suspense, so intense, no defense against Hitchcock once he presents. It's got it's killing it, son. William performance room more horrible than Megan Fox is acting and transforming. Come on. Fish puppets and muppets to stir the fears up. Ice cream screams out of chocolate syrup. I'm the best mamma jamma ever stood behind the camera. Damn it, Van Rose, and haunt you like the last Ooh. Indiana. Give me a Tylenol. Stop rhyming, y'all. Alfred, you got no style, dog. I'm the king of dialogue. There's only one movie I know you're from. And I've seen more blood in the shower when I stub my toe and more. Tried to fight in World War One, but couldn't do that. The British Army wouldn't let you join because you were too fat. Look it up. It's a true fact. Wicked that now allow me to attack Stephen the hack due to war of the world's a failure is what I label you it looked like some sellout bullshit Michael Bay would do ask anybody what's your favorite Sam True. Jackson part no one's gonna say what's his name from Jurassic Park Sparks that I write ain't the clean when I grit mics I'm the mean dick oh, Tarantino God. is a genius a bad motherfucker from the wallet to the penis oh god I geeked out so hard when this happened when you see him in the shining hallway a powerful word but there's no reason to use it unless you're talking about the kubrick then there's really nothing to it everything i do is visionary every single frame of painting made exactly how i want to make it do another take and get it right 127 times i'll make you learn to love me i'm the bomb drop up for violent rhymes like clockwork make you all hurt yeah when he said i'm the bomb i don't think i i caught that the first time either uh, it's a reference to Dr. Strangelove, because the full title of Dr. Strangelove is Dr. Strangelove, or How I Learned to Love the Bomb and Stop Fearing It, something like that. Pete Spielberg, the color purple. AI is the worst waste of potential since the Ninja Turtles. That's enough. I've heard enough crap from all of you. Oh, but boy. I come down there and show you what a real star can do. I swoop blow with the telephoto. No Bruckheimer, I work solo. If this one thing I've learned. Peter does nail that douchebag face because it's usually uh, it's usually Lloyd who plays the villain, but Peter's like this time I play the villain. Our bitch, this game is about motherfucking money. I make that dollar, y'all motherfucking money. Even make Mark Wahlberg. I hate you so much, money. Michael Bay. Got a few drops of that got milk money. Rose to the rock. Now I got that socks made of silk money. I ain't got that guilt money. I don't give a fuck. I take my checks to the bank and I sign them.
I hate to admit it. I actually enjoyed Michael Bay a little more. I still hate that he's in this, but I did enjoy him a little more uh, this time around. Uh, but in either case, uh, let's get to uh, the scorecard. So, uh, the Alexander the Greatest Flow Award. So, who had the best flow? Uh, definitely wasn't Spielberg, and it wasn't Kubrick. Uh, it's it's between Tarantino and Hitchcock. Hitchcock killed it, man. Hitchcock's flow was pretty sick, uh, but so was Tarantino's. This is a tough one, man. Uh, my instinct is to go with Tarantino, though. Uh, the Julia Child Best Dis Dishes Award. So who had the best disses? Um, wasn't Kubrick. Uh, Tarantino, not so much. Uh, Michael Bay really didn't diss anybody. So it's between Spielberg and Hitchcock. And I got to give it to Hitchcock strictly for the line um half of your money uh, should go to john williams which is pretty true uh the tesla creativity award so who was the most creative with their character uh i hate to do this but peter had so much fun with it even though again uh, i might be softening up on michael bay a little bit uh, I was just so pissed because you have four of the greatest, uh, arguably, directors ever. Spielberg, Hitchcock, uh, Quentin, Kubrick, and then you throw Michael Bay in there. Uh, the Sun Tzu Deep Cuts Award. Uh, who, has, who had the deepest cut uh, with their rapping? Uh, for this one, I gotta, I gotta go... I gotta go Hitchcock. Uh, the Frederick the Great Drop-In Award. So who had the best drop-in? Uh, I gotta, I gotta give it to Kubrick. So this is, it has nothing to do with the actual rapping part. It's like, who had the dopest drop-in? And Kubrick definitely with the tricycle. That was fantastic. Uh, the Clint Eastwood Mic Drop Award. Who had the hardest hitting line? There really wasn't like a super, like, mic drop line here. But I really did like the John Williams line by Hitchcock. Uh, the Oppenheimer Authenticity Award. Who was the most authentic? I gotta say, man, they they all did a really good job. But if I gotta pick one, I think the most authentic one was probably Michael Bay. Because he's a dickbag. Uh, so yeah, I'm giving it to Michael Bay. I'm just, I'm trying to be honest and, and not put my bias in this one. Uh, the Poe Pones Poser Award. Uh, so who owned or pwned uh, the opponent's best? I gotta say, nobody was really like over the top in this one that, you know, just buried the others. Um, it definitely wasn't Michael Bay. Uh, Kubrick was okay, but not that great. Tarantino also. So again, between... Spielberg and Hitchcock, uh, you know, Spielberg did have the Jimmy Stewart line, but Hitchcock had that, um, again, uh, I know I keep going back to that John Williams line. Um, but you know what? I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it to Spielberg. Uh, the award is named for him. The Michael Bay, why are you here? Award has to go to Michael Bay. There's no, there's no other way to go about it. Uh, the Batman Bat Week lines. I gotta say, as great as it was to have Tarantino, I think Tarantino actually had some of the weakest lines. But as amazing as Kubrick was to see him, he really didn't say much um, when it came to dissing the other people. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna take it take the point away from Kubrick. And that definitely shows that I am not biased in this one. Because Kubrick is my favorite of the five. So uh we get Spielberg, Tarantino, and Ugh Bay uh all get one. Uh and Hitchcock takes it with three. Again, this is just my opinion. Uh, you know, agree, disagree, let me know in the comments. But I also added three questions 
at the end of the scoring battle. So number one question is, should this be recast? If you could recast anyone in here, you know who I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick Michael Bay. And this, um, you, you have these directors and it feels like Martin Scorsese's missing. Scorsese is arguably the greatest American director of the last 40 years. Uh, you know, I mean, some may say Spielberg, but I don't think, I don't think, you know, in my opinion, it's Scorsese. So I would have, uh, I would have definitely replaced Michael Bay with Scorsese. And plus that gives you all the Coke lines as well. Uh, the best line award, uh, again, for me, it was the John Williams line. And the final question is, should this be redone? And I think it should, because number one, Tarantino, like I said, uh, I love the flow and everything else, but his lines kind of missed, uh, Kubrick really didn't say much. Uh, Michael Bay, my opinion, just shouldn't have been in it. Spielberg and Hitchcock did an okay job, but I wouldn't mind if they redid this one and also recast it. But in either case, let me know if you agree, disagree. What are your thoughts? Uh, any ideas for any other categories? Really appreciate it. Love the support. Thank you, everybody, for just being so kind and supportive. Check out the links in the description if you want to support the show. I could really use the help. It's okay if you can't. But the links for Patreon, PayPal, all that stuff. Discord is right over there. Um, social media, etc. I've been Teacher Ready, and I'll catch you next time. Fam! And as always, shouting out Teacher Ready's Patreon to keep things running here. Starting with the top Chancellor's tier, Elena G, Alex, Cuckles, Kiara, John Alonzo, Naval Colt, and the Hollow King. The principal tier, Edison Lynn, Blue Tech, Chad A, Chris H, Chrissy, Clement, Freeman, Laura, Lord Gandalf, Muri Kakari, Nathan M, Quiet J, Rachel H, Rob N, Robin B, and Vijandra. I've been Teacher Eddie, and I'll catch you next time. Fan.